rulings doesn't become supreme law of the land? No. Okay. All right. So if I, according to what you just said, if I wanted to use this case and what was cited in this case right here, what I'm, uh, the case Thompson v. Smith, it says that uh, the right of the citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon, either by horse-drawn carriage or by automobile, is not a mere privilege which a city can prohibit or permit at will, but a common right which he has under the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of, in the pursuit of happiness. So that was actually ruled in the Supreme Court. Um, and I actually have a few other ones here I wanted to point out. It says here that this is Miller v. U.S. US. It says if the state converts a liberty into a privilege, the citizen can engage in that right with impunity. So I can just basically say, I don't need a license, regardless of what the police told me. I have a right that say I don't, and I can still engage in this right with, with, with impunity. Basically gives me immunity to whatever statute that was created so that's basically uh, impeding on my right. Did John Abinader tell you to say this to me? I don't even know who I, that is. I had this argument, and I've had this uh, actual argument on these cases of rights and privilege, by the way, when it do does handle the, the uh, motor vehicle license. Because when the motor vehicle license is charged for in the state of New York, it now becomes a right instead of a privilege because you people say that you have a pri it's a privilege to drive in the in in New York state actually it's been argued that it is a right to because they charged you for a driver's license wait wait what well, actually it's not a right you don't have a right to drive that is a privilege according and it's only a privilege because of the legal definition of the word drive the legal definition of the word drive see commonly everyone thinks you get in the car and you drive the common definition is you get in the car and you drive but what the people need to wake up to is there's a totally different definition legally it's called legalese and that legal definition of drive is someone who operates a motor vehicle for hire for business for commerce i wasn't doing it for any of those reasons so therefore i don't understand why i have to obtain present uh, a driver's license when I'm when legally I don't even fit the definition of the term drive or driver and then in another the problem thing, is though is is Sylvester you are on the road that's maintained by the towns counties and state therefore their opportunity to say to you if you want to be on my property you need to have this license. Oh no, I understand I that. I went through this. I understand I that. Love and this. We and can do the this reason, look, hour. okay, now the reason I understand that, and, I, and I, I agree with you, and that's because that's just like saying because everything is incorporated. This is all corporations. The United States is a corporation. It's been a corporation since 1871. It's been a corporation. This is a business. So I definitely understand. Like if this was, if I was chartered to do business over this whole landmass, and someone else came over here to do business, yeah, you're gonna need a permit for me. You need a license because I do business here. If you want to go on McDonald's and sell Burger King, you better get McDonald's permission. I understand that. Now, when you say the definition of driver is someone that's operating for business, of course that person is going to need a driver's license or permission to do that because I was already charged to do business in this whole landmass of Turtle Island, and my business is called the United States Corporation, the federal corporation. You have your incorporation papers with you? Um, no, I'm not talking about my incorporation, but I do have... The incorporated name, so that's the good thing you went last. Yeah, if you like, though, I do have my incorporated entity. You know, you got the assistant attorney general here today by any chance? Did you know he is here? Is he here for me? No, he's not <laughs> here for you, but you just happen to got the, the king of the land. <laughs> yeah, but I the do king have. Of the corporation. I do have title over my, um, so my let corporate me ask entity. You, is your argument that you don't need a license to operate any vehicle, let alone drive, push? or sway in or out of a driveway, you have that right without a license? Um, uh, yeah, according to legal... Do you have a car? Legally, I, I do. You do have a car? Yes, I do. Okay, what do you do, push it around the field? Oh, no, no, I, I travel in it, but I don't drive. What do you do in it? I travel. Yeah. So somebody else drives it? No, I travel in it. Is it one of those new Teslas that are driving <laughs> cars? No, I actually so travel in it. from point A to go to point B, you don't touch that steering wheel. Now see, from going to point A to point B is actually defined, legally as travel. So that's what I'm telling you, I do. I do, yeah, I have it all here. I've been doing this work for years, so I've been, I wish I knew it when I got these tickets, I wouldn't be here right now, but I didn't know that then. Well, I know it now. Well, this becomes where they're gonna come after you and oh. and that's not even a good thing. Yeah, but here's the thing with that. I'm not really worried about that because I've already, look, no, seriously, I've already written to 
I've written already to the Oneida County Sheriff's Department, Utica, uh, Utica Police Department. I've written Cuomo. I've written the Attorney General for the state. I've written to the, the New York State Department of Motor Vehicle and all put them on notice of my rights and that I know my rights now. And I didn't know them before, but I know them now and I don't expect to be harassed in my exercise of them. I'm not starting any trouble. I don't want any problems. I just want you to know that I know my rights and I don't expect to be harassed or hindered in any way. So I wouldn't I, want you to because you know what? In this court, nobody should be. Exactly. I mean, no one in the world should be, but um, I understand that now. And, you know, I understand that I have to put certain authority figures on notice of that just to prevent any problems or lawsuits. You know? Do you have any money? Um, I don't. Do I don't. You, do, that, you, do you use money? Is uh, money is a vehicle for you to go buy something? And no. Because I, you know, you, actually, according to Public Law 7310, there is no money. Because the only lawful money for us as the people was gold and silver. So when this, when the corporation went bankrupt and took all the gold from the people, 7310 actually said that um, because of that, because they took the gold, there's no money for us to use. So anybody demanding that you pay can't demand that you pay them in a specific way, according to Public Law 7310. Well, at one point back in 1950 something, when they maybe I got the date wrong, when they produced the silver certificates, gold certificates, they took that gold and they turned it into. Uh, currency and in exchange for that. Have you ever seen a silver certificate? I don't looks think like anyone ever seen a silver looks certificate. Like, looks like a dollar bill and it says silver certificate. That one, what you call the greenback, the one that got, what's the name in all that trouble? That he tried to put it into, he tried it and they basically killed him. Well, let me ask you this. There's an offer on the table from the district attorney in full satisfaction of all this. He's willing to take away most of this. Is that something that you're interested in? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it, it, uh, all of it has to go according. Is this, this legally? Legally? Yeah. But there's an offer that's, that he's saying, just plead to this and this and this, and we'll take care of all these things. But that's, you have a, you know, you have a right to a trial. Did you know yeah, that? I know that, and I was going to ask that because I know that these courts, usually traffic courts, are not, um, you say, like court of record. So, I, you know, in order for any of this to really have any type of weight, is, you know, not to, uh, not to, you know, damage your uh, integrity or anything like that. But if. If I can state this stuff in the court of record, I know it would carry so much more weight. So I actually would prefer a trial. So you trial. want to move this to the county? I mean, unless unless you're willing to dismiss it right now for what I've told you so far. But if you're not, then.